Let's say you have a list of properties. So here we have a list of the names of the properties, the state those properties uh, occur in, and then the name of the property manager. And I have, if I have a large list of properties and I want to show to the person that is viewing this list only those records that is that are important to them or that they are the property manager on, I can do that two different ways. One way is I can go and create a view and filter that view based on a property manager's name. That's going to take a lot of time and if I have you know 300, 400 properties and uh, you know 70 to 80 different property managers I would be creating a large number of filters people would have to select from. So a better solution is to apply a user ID to a record and then filter on that user ID based on the person that's logged into SharePoint. So let me show you how you do that. The first thing that we did is created a property manager field and this property manager field is a type person or group. That person or group property type uh, within a, a column actually allows me to select a user ID from Active Directory. And so I can apply, so this is the person or group selection that I made and I said only allow the selection of people. Okay, and so back to our view of the property, what I'm going to do is put in a web part, a filtering web part that only shows me those items that, that I am most interested in, that have Lee Reed as the property manager. So I'm going to edit my page, add a web part, and scroll down to the filters. With the filters, I'm going to select the current user filter. So this is filtering the contents of web parts by using properties of the current page. In this case, the property of the current page that I want to use to filter the web part is the person I'm logged in as. I'm going to connect this web part to the bottom one so that the filter can occur. So I'm going to say connections, send filter values to property information. And so now it's going to say what record or what uh, column is, are you going to connect from the filter web part into the property information web part, what's going to equal current user, and that's going to be property manager, that field right there. I click on finish, and you'll notice that the, the records go away. Well, I'm still logged in as Lee, and I should be able to see the Lee read items, so something must be wrong. What the challenge is here is that we're providing an incorrect value for what should be matched down here, so I'm going to edit this shared web part. This is the filtered web part that I'm editing. And you see what it's providing currently? Current username. So it's select value to provide current username and it's my domain slash and my user ID. That doesn't match Lee space read that I'm pulling from Active Directory. So in order to get those records to show I'm going to select SharePoint profile value for current user and it's going to be my name instead of the user ID. And when I click OK, those records are presented. So this is my full list of information, but it's only it's filtering based on my currently the person that's currently logged in. Now if you're not familiar enough with SharePoint, SharePoint recognizes you from being logged into Active Directory or any other authentication mechanism. Anybody that views this list that is logged in as themselves will see only the records that pertain to them and I don't have to create multiple views. <laughs>